Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Euden Chronicles 100 Heroes. The time has finally come, the game is here. Yes, literally right now it's like 5 minutes past 4 on the day of release. So literally 5 minutes it took me to install this game to my PC and I'm all ready for it. That's how excited I am. Because this is the closest we're gonna get to a new game like Sukaden, and I cannot be more happy uh, to play that. I've been waiting for this for such a long time and we're not gonna talk too much right now because the one thing I want to do as soon as possible is get into the game, experience it and we'll talk about it the longer we go through it and just experience the entire thing because I'm excited. And I'm hoping you guys are as well. So let's get it started. New game. I did check the options. Uh, the only thing I changed is that I turned the vibration off. That if I accidentally put my uh, controller on my desk. That I don't deafen you all with the sound it will make when we get attacked. So new game. Let's start. Uh, received a Union Chronicle Rising bonus content. Because of course... When Rising came, we played that as well. So what do we get? A new Neve clock tower, rune of wind enchantment, transferred from the latest save file is the new Neve delicacy name. And the names of the weapons carried by CJ, Isha and Garou. Because you got to uh, fill those in yourself. Like a little nod that uh, you played that game and the game knows it. So I like that, real good. Start the game on normal difficulty? Yes. The first time we play something, it's gonna be totally blind. No looking up things. Choices we make, it's the choices we make. And we always start on normal difficulty. If we're gonna play it again on a stream or whatever it is, then we can look in hiring or lowering the difficulty depending on how it uh, came to us. Okay, so normal it is. Uh, starting the game on normal difficulty, you cannot change the difficulty during the game. That's good, I don't mind. I'm still gonna do it on normal. And there it is. Oh, I love the graphical style. Do these sprites on a 3D uh, backdrop. I love it. I wouldn't mind if more games were made like this. It doesn't have to be super realistic for me. Because this looks perfect, doesn't it? Colorful, vibrant. Can't wait to get started. Oh, there's so much we need to learn about this world. How everything works. Really, bird? Is this how you want to start off the game? By attacking a lovely little birdie? Uh, maybe a representation that we need to protect the innocent. Because that's who we are. Looking back on the start of the game, so let's get going. Hey there. You must be the new guy Emir mentioned. Welcome to the watch. Glad to be here, Gar. And yes, I have well understood that there's going to be a lot of voice uh, overs, which personally. I don't mind, give the game a lot of character and makes it easier for me to read through the lines. Of course, if we walk through towns, and I'm relatively sure not everybody will have a voice. We speak those lines, of course, uh, loudly if we need to. Okay, let's continue. Because we need to know what the name of our hero will be. So, what's your name? And why are you even here? Well... Noah. Uh, I wanted to see the world. I wanted to put myself to the test and 
I'm so overwhelmed, I cannot say a word. No. I, I think the first thing in my mind when playing this game is I want to see the world. Testing myself against that world? That's the second, so yeah. The name's Noah. As for being here, the world's a big place. I want to see as much as I can. <laughs> yup, I'm the same. We're two peas in a pod. I left my village because I heard something big was happening out here in the world. I mean, I didn't know where it was happening, so I just started running. And right as my legs were ready to snap, I ended up here. Name's Leon, by the way. I'm sort of an old hand around this place, so if you've got questions, fire away. Oh, trust me, I'm sure we'll, we will. <laughs> You've been here two days. Really now? Well, if you know that much uh, in two days, can't wait to see what you know in a month or two. <laughs> Come on, Mimi, have a girl's back. I'm Gar. No one's been warming this post longer than me, which ain't really saying much. The Watch are basically mercs with public backing, and we get slapped with every kind of job. Some folks stay, some folks leave. Don't know if you're a stayer or a leaver, but we'll see what you can do in the meantime. <laughs> Gar joined the party. Veteran of the Watch, Gar. Really cool uh, art. I like it. I am Mio of the East Reach. Welcome. Welcome. Mio joined the party. East Reach Sword Woman, Mio. Again, I love the art style. Really good. And the sprite itself really looks a lot like it. It's good. And I'm Leon. Or boss, if that's easier. Alright, boss. Leanne joined the party. Full Trust Fighter, Leanne. Ooh, martial artists? Oh, I always love martial artists uh, in uh, games. Welcome to the party. So, did I hear right that we're teaming up with the Empire Gar? I can't believe we're gonna be working with a bunch of imps. I know the League and Empire ain't got much in the way of rosy history, but I guess this is some kind of goodwill gesture. All above my pay grade, but I know this much. When a politician shows you something with one hand, it's the other one you gotta keep an eye on. Still, a job's a job. They set up a command post on the hill there at the Elder's residence. You ready for your first assignment? <laughs> Get on top of that hill. <laughs> you got this, kiddo. Just keep it loose. It's also your first assignment. She did ask if you had her back. Clearly you don't. But uh, we'll be friends in the end, I'm sure of it. Moving, talking, searching. To interact, for instance, talk to someone, enter a building or search an area. Approach and press A at the prompt. Press Y to open the main menu. From there you can use items, magic, change equipment, see your stats and access any other menus you need. Press X to open the map menu and view the map of where you are or the world map. The map will be filled in as you visit and explore new areas. Select story and let you see a summary of your adventure. Alright, our first step in a new bright world. Ooh. High up there, it's the Grand Warden's place. Huh, big shots like high places, huh? Okay, so we do have like a uh, flavor text uh, coming up in the corner. I don't mind. Give me all the info I need to uh, learn as much as we can of the characters we are playing with. And apparently, just like uh, the old games, it has like a hundred characters. So it's a lot to learn in the end. Hmm, I'd uh, love some good beans. Tuxedo, is that his name or is that just what he's wearing? Hmm. 
Uh, the control or the stick is really sensitive. Hmm. So I might be running back and forth. Maybe I could just use the five point for this for the moment. Ah, oh, we can go upstairs. Oh well. So we need to go up the hill, so the first place we will go be going is downwards, of course. <laughs> nice little... Where are you headed, Noah? Command posts up the hill at the Elder's residence. I know, I'm new here. I don't know the way. We'll learn about all of it. Looks like we'll be fighting the controls a little bit, because it's... Like this here? This is not me doing it, it's just... The game reacting, so we need to tune that in between the episodes. Whoa, a beast in! This is my first time seeing one. Oh, they said I can use my uh, usual playground because they're setting up tents. All right, another thing we need to learn is like, do characters in the game change their text uh, regularly, or is it just uh, one text for all time? Because that, that will teach us whether or not we need to walk by a lot of places each and every time an event changes in the world because I don't want to miss anything if it's possible okay doesn't look like we can get in here right time to get up that hill I guess ah the view here is always the same but uh, I don't mind at all <laughs> Can I read the signs? I'll see where we're going. Hey, they're playing heavily. <laughs> Better not disturb them. Ooh, looks like they're pay playing Beyblade though, or, or something like that. Hmm. I'm guessing that if a uh, character have an icon, they're important or maybe a potential recruit. Hmm, the Countess of Grom lives in a place called Eltiswise to the south. This is uh, Erinside, one of the villages in Grom Country, Conti. Squeak. Can we get in here? Nope, cannot uh, go close, get close to the horses. Yeah, let's just click on everything that has uh, the word search uh, to it. Well, this is my first mission. Oh, I'm so nervous. Some of the Empire guys don't like the idea of a joint operation. Please don't provoke them. Hey, you better not uh, be a dragon gar. Ugh, the thought of working with Imperials makes me sick. Hey, where are you taking this? Oh, the Watch of the League of Nations aren't regular soldiers. We're a mixed bag of mercs and all sorts. Hey, rookie. Watch work is uh, no walk in the park, so be prepared. Are you the watch from uh, Count Grum's place? The little lady there is called uh, Periel, right? The girl's quite famous. This search will be a joint effort between the League of Nations and the Empire. Alright. Slowly we're learning a bit of uh, the political situation around here. And it doesn't seem people are liking. The command post and get our briefing. We should. I'm slowly getting there. Yeah, people aren't liking uh, each other a lot, is it? But why? We learn. We are proud soldiers of the Empire. Try to keep up and not hold us back. Ah, uh, why do we, the Empire, have to go on missions with such a motley bunch? Jeez. Check, check, check. Well, I hope this marks the start of a friendship between the League and the Empire. Tss, country bumpkin. Don't get too friendly. Our orders are to cooperate. Orders from above are absolute. Alright, I'm okay with that. Hmm, interested in this sword? Apparently they call this a katana in the East Reach. I uh, bought it from a merchant who set the game. He came from out that way. It doesn't suit me though, does it? It is beautiful though, and sharp. The engravings on the blade are really something. 
might make a nice collector's piece uh, for one so inclined. Well, if you don't like it, you can always give it to me. I'm sure I can find a place for it. Mm -hmm. Interest in the sword? Apparently the gold is a katana in each reach. Hey, make sure you take the watch's gear to the League's tent. Working with country bumpkins. Ah. It's no tents we can get in. Well, despite everything standing here, that the uh, it is a really intense uh, atmosphere there. That's for sure. Well, in my homeland of Utrecht, there are many canals, uh, channels, and uh, I often went fishing. This stream reminds me of those days. All right, we're getting higher on top. The last of the arrangements. Gesture of Amity, my hide. Those prune faced mules on the council just wanted to saddle me with the grunt work. I'm going to make them pay for it when we get home, mark my words. Will we be returning to Norrister straight away, milady? I thought perhaps we might rest a spell. A few more days of this balmy weather would not go amiss. Uh, additionally, I've heard tell of a local herb chicken dish that simply melts on the tongue. Ooh, I wouldn't mind uh, tasting some of that. We don't have time for that! Why do they keep pushing me down? Ugh. Well, so be it. If I have to put in double or triple the effort to make them respect me, then that's what I'll do! <sighs> now let's go. Um... You're with the watch, yes? Good, good. As you may be aware, we need leverage to negotiate with the Empire. Which means we must pull our weight on this little co-expedition. I don't expect you to find a primal lens, but if you locate the rune barrows, I'll see your paid extra. Jingle jingle and all that, yes? Hmm, the rune barrows. Wasn't that uh, also where we could go with Rising? Hmm, interesting. Are we gonna meet up uh, those characters sooner than we think? I definitely wouldn't mind. Now get out there and show me some results. Dazzle me, handsome. Uh, sorry? Jane Quiss, we are leaving. Uh, very good, milady. Oh, and see if we can get that herbed chicken to go. <laughs> well, that was a thing. That was our new boss, Lady Periel, head of house groom. Her land, her rules. She sure took a shine to old Noah here. Lucky you, making a good first impression. Hey, she called me handsome. That's a win in my book. I did what now? All right, time to continue exploring. Meow. <laughs> oh, if you're shopping, our store is the best. We've got the biggest selection in the village. Well, it's the only store in the village, but still. Well, it does mean you're not lying, that's for sure. I'm uh, hiding here because everyone's giving me weird stares. Probably because you're an animal. What a terrible selection. Oh, rune shop? Oh, none in this village. And almost nobody here has a lens either. Sorry, but your room isn't ready yet. Could you wait a bit longer? That we can. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're part of the expedition team. In that case, you should stop by our shop later. Check in at the elder residence first. Okay, so we're not allowed to shop because we're not uh, registered yet or something? Eh, we'll come back. I do want to see what they have. Alright, we're here. Remember, 
This is a co-expedition with the Empire, which means we'll be paired with Imperial officers. Best behavior, all of you. Especially you, Lian. Sure thing. Known her for two days and already knows to warn her. <laughs> Good call. Wait, why did he call me out? The League's operatives will be here soon, sir. I believe everything is in order. Thank you, Hildy. So what do you make of this co-expedition? I welcome the exchange of olive branches, sir. A soldier's greatest wish is to not be working, after all. Just so. Let us hope the olive branches are genuine. Yeah, let's hope so too. This mission isn't at all dangerous, but expect battles with monsters outside the village. Better keep your wits about you. Well, the benefits conferred by rune lenses are immeasurable. They are essential for the development of the Empire, nay, the world. This uh, mission is therefore of great significance. Do your level best. I must check the route. Can go in there, okay. Ho oh there, expedition team members, I'm glad you've come. Feel free to make yourself at home. And uh, I'd love to hear your tales of the borrows if you don't mind. Oh, if you have any issues about the matter, uh, don't hesitate to ask me. Well, we uh, definitely will then. Lots of notes on the wall. Hmm, <laughs> looks like we found our officers. I take it you are the delegation from the League of Nations? Welcome. You come well recommended. <laughs> a team with two members that hasn't even done a single assignment just yet. And yes, we came highly recommended. <sighs> yeah, that doesn't uh, say a lot about the League of Nations, does it? <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Sane Kessling of Galdia's 1st Imperial Army. I'll be leading one team on the co-expedition. Awful young to be a lieutenant, ain't ya? <laughs> you some noble kid? Is it your job to pry into my lineage, good Lycan? Guess not. Noted. I am Hildy, Lieutenant Kessling's aide. The objective of this operation is to locate the rune barrows that were recently discovered in the forest. Sorry, question. Why do we have to find something that's already been discovered? A local stumbled upon the ruins while lost in the forest, and while he provided physical evidence of the find... He got lost again on the way back? Correct. Our search team has been assigned the area north of here, through the forest. Unfortunately, we don't know the lay of the land, hence the joint effort. Don't worry, lady. We'll handle the navigating. I've been preparing two whole days for this, <laughs> yep? <sighs> We're prepared to leave at once. Is this agreeable to you? Sure. As soon as I get access to the general store and the inn, I'm more than ready to get ready. Makes sense. We'd head in first, so the rest of your team knows where to go. Come on, then. Let's get this show on the road. Are you not with them? Huh? Oh, yeah, I am. Sorry. Um, name's Noah, by the way. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Well, if you're coming, keep up. To review, our objective is to traverse the northern forest and pinpoint the location of the rune barrows. Is that clear? Crystal. Crystal, ma'am. Yeah. Alright, let's get back in there if we're allowed. Alright, 
Alright, so it's still the same text. Is there anything here we can rummage around into? Ooh! There's a cat uh, all up there. Very nice detail. <laughs> still not allowed to go to the other rooms? Okay. Hmm, I was assigned to the Eastern Search Team. Where's the assembly point again? See, we can uh, buy stuff at these shops. This may lead to a fight, so be ready. Money? We got any? Not uh, to use, but not to waste. Uh, yes, we'll uh, use what we have and we'll gain more by playing more. Welcome! One night will cost you 300 bakwa. Uh, okay. No, might as well save, see how that works. Multiple slots. Um, definitely good. I'm guessing the arm might be an indicator that we're playing with uh, rice data. Come back soon! Uh, welcome! What can I get for you today? Well, I do have some stuff here, but let's not sell anything until we know what it is and its value. And normally, I'm a person that if I collect something, I want to keep it for myself. I never sell it. But I don't know if we'll have infinite inventory spaces, or if there is like a maximum capacity. These are like little things that we need to figure out. Uh, let's see. Healing her, revival, scarf... Which is better? Hmm. From the rear. Is there any indicator what kind of classes uh, people are? Because I'm thinking about how it was in uh, Sugudan, with you have like uh, front, back, and mid uh, type uh, characters. Hmm. I'm guessing uh, we'll learn regardless of what they can uh, wear. We have 1500. How much is everything we need or everything we want? So I'm guessing, with how the team is set up right now, we should be able to fight. Or else there would be a bit of an oversight uh, to start out that way. Unless the game wants it to use it, so we can learn how things work. This as well, like a shoulder guard has the same amount of defense for Nova, but one is like 60 cheaper. Does that matter then? Because you always want to go for the cheaper variant of it. Just like here, like a Traveler close is lower in defense, but gives you an additional uh, magic uh, point for it. So those are things we need to uh, keep in mind when we're picking these types of things. Hmm. And, and therefore we need to know what kind of character people technically are. Ah, Choice is already in, we just getting started. I think we can definitely go with uh, this one for Lian, this one for Noah and Mio, and then this one for Gar. And it does look like uh, Sane and Hildy are not wanting anything from us. It's a joint venture, so they don't, don't want to join with our cash, apparently, w which is fine. So let's uh, get that. I'm not picking this one because it's lowering his magic defense. I'm assuming that is. We'll, we'll learn along the way, of course, because I'm thinking that the second symbol is going to be magic power and the magical head will probably be defensive point. And since he is a front character, has also first layer of defense, you want to keep his points up as much as we can. Okay, so... Confirm... Okay, so we need to... That's what, that's what I mean with confirm, okay. Equip. Okay. Would you like to trade in your old gear? Not yet. Oh, I want to see how our inventory uh, stands up. Uh, 
and we can always sell them at a later date if uh, we need the room or the money. Okay, so we've got 660 left and four gear pieces we want to buy, so we don't have enough money to buy everything. Uh, so let's make sure that we at least buy the one thing that we need a good defender at front. So Gar is definitely going to get a hat. And then the 308. I have 12 healing herbs. Well, for now that should be okay. I think once we get outside the city, there might be chance of us to fight more, gain money that way, and then we can always gain more healing items if needed. Uh, I think we're gonna do like the same tactic as before, like give Scarf to Lian and then wooden headgear to Mio and Noah. But we can only buy one. And uh, since uh, Mio is out on front, I'm gonna give it to her at the moment. Alright, that's it. Now while we're at it and we have our team now, let's check our status menu. How everything works, how everything looks like, what we have. Whole new stuff. Okay, so it does seem like we've landed at level 1 back with a capacity of 30. Yeah, then we definitely want to sell uh, stuff as much as we can. Let's see, we have a ring here. Okay. Oh, yeah, main uh, DLC for the game that I bought. You can sell it at a high price at a store. I'm not going to do that just yet. Rune of Speed. Is that like a temporary or permanent thing? We'll learn. We'll definitely learn. We'll warp you back to the dungeon entrance. Definitely handy to keep a few of these in our inventory. Okay, we have a couple of stacks of that. No valuables, no materials as of yet, of course. Uh, magics. Only Hildy has one that's healing drops and recovery wave. And I'm guessing the rest will get, s well, at some point, I'm sure. Uh, equipment, in case we want to change that up a little bit. Now we have a Peridot. Uh, a ring, a door and Peridot gives us five speed. Well, let's give it to our main uh, character. For a time being. Uh, party. Ooh, it looks like we have a support character and three on the, let's say on the bench then or something? Attendants, so yeah. Or maybe attendants are like uh, non-playable characters that join for the story or something like that. Alright. I'm still trying to see if there are like different symbols or something. Oh wait. It is L for back row, and M, S. Okay, so M can probably be front and back, S needs to be in the front, and L, well, needs to be in the back. You can put them in front, but that makes them more vulnerable than they need to. Huh. Good. Uh, status, beautiful art. I like the way this looks, by the way. Battle plan. You can access battle plan in the main menu to configure what your whole party does in auto battle mode. Uh, okay, but this is for a later point. Because especially in the beginning, you want to control your party members. And later on, when things get easier, then you start to learn how auto battle works and set everything up in accordance to that. Of course, things to learn. Mini games, right? Facilities, battle, uh, we'll learn. Alright, that th did answer a question, meaning that if we sell these things or not, and we uh, should do. So unless we know of equipment that is better for other people that we want them to wear, like if we remove the Peridot from Nova because he has a different dials, then we gave it to another person. But if that's not the case, then we are just gonna sell our gear. Mm, we can buy one more wooden head guard. And not enough to buy the last scarf. Nah, that's fine. Minimal thing we are missing. Thank you, come again. Alright, we got ourselves our shopping uh, done. Perfect. 
I am just checking if the text changed or not. So this is where everything is, and we should be allowed to leave right now. So let's see if we can check out the world map if the game has one. Camera controls. When traveling on the field, you can change the camera angle with R. You can configure this in the options. Ah, oh, fully encircled uh, world map, and it looks gigantic, and it looks beautiful as well. Yeah, this here, this alone, an RPG with a world map, already got its praises uh, ready for me, definitely. All right, let's uh, walk around, see what the counter rate is. If you need to be careful, uh, we're looking for a place northwest of here. We should proceed along the river. All right, got us hints on where we need to be. But there's definitely a river. But I want to walk around. I want to see if there's uh, random encounters when we do that, which I am assuming. Ooh, what's this? Lots of people crowding around the door. Hmm, the bars are under search by another unit. Head northwest uh, by the river to the forest. Okay, so this is not where we need to be, but there are people here, so we're gonna talk to them. In places like this, one should be vigilant. So I don't miss the enemy? Exactly. Even a moment's lead over the enemy will reduce the harm to your allies. I see. Yeah, Mio definitely has experience in combat, that's for sure. What's going on? Why isn't it opening? That, that's weird. Why isn't it opening? At this rate, we're going to have to go back empty-handed. There must be some kind of mechanism. Yep, and you have no idea how that mechanism works. Nope. No way in. Well, no way in at the moment. I'm sure at some point we'll figure it out. For now, we weren't there for investigations, we were here to look for combat. Unless the combat is like uh, blocked away until we get like the first like tutorial scene for it. So maybe we need to follow the river, for, at least for now. Okay. So it leads in the forest, are we allowed to go on the other side? My exploring nature wants to see everything. That's the northern forest. Let's wow. do this. That uh, scared me a little bit, but yes. Battle Basics 1. When you meet an enemy in the overworld or in a dungeon, you enter a turn-based battle. Select fight to give your team commands and begin a turn. Your allies uh, state is shown on the right side of the screen and your enemies in the upper left. If an ally drops to zero, they will be KO'd and helpless. Losing all enemies HP to zero wins the battle. Losing all your allies HP? That's a loss. At the top of the screen you see the turn order of both allies and enemies. When the turn begins, character acts from left to right. You can make battles easier by eliminating an enemy's HP before they go. If an ally is low on HP, hitting them before the enemy attack can make battles much safer. Yes, so basic principles of any RPG with turn-based combat. Got it. Uh, flee or auto. Now we're gonna just fight normally until we figure out how everything works. Uh, we've got rune lances, attack, defense, assume defense stance, half damage, activate the rune lens. Rune lances 1. The rune lens command that allies use magical uh, and magical skills. Magic uses up MP and skills uses up SP. These techniques include powerful attacks, area attacks, healing and more. You get back a little SP each turn, and MP is only restored with an item or at a location like an inn. So watch your remaining MP on long dungeon delves. So what they are saying, SP, go wild. If you have it, use it. Magic, make sure you use it whenever you need it, but remember, it's not limitless. So for now, we're just gonna attack. Uh, we have Rabbit Knight, our plant vines, and they are looking beautiful. We'll go for the Rabbit Knight uh, first. He has Sword Rain, which we can use. And uh, I'm taking all the uh, same characters, because I want to see if the game automatically uh, goes to the next character if the first one is defeated. 
or if we need to be so tactical that we can interpret which one will be next and when one will die. Uh, an armor piercing strike. There's a swing slash. And um, these are magic, so we don't gonna use this unless it's absolutely necessary, so you can normally attack. Yes, confirm after everybody is put in. I do like the fact that they have lenses above their head. So you can see that they are using their uh, lenses to attack. Perfect. Uh, love the animation and we are seeing what we want to see. Automatically going to the next character. <laughs> Beautiful attack. And slightly showing off, but in this situation, I I really don't mind. Mm. Fight uh, another one like that, we might level up. So let's see, if we can force that. We haven't seen everything yet. We know that the forest is there, but we want to see, of course, if there are other things. Because we saw a path on the other side of the river, maybe leading to another area as well. So let's check that too. No, that's just a, a dead end. Okay, so we have the Northern Fort where we need to be for a mission. We have like a closed room door that leads apparently to the barrows as well. And we got this here, a mighty stern wall. Fort Gia Luke. Let's see what uh, we're allowed to do here. Very beautiful indeed, it really is. What is this place? Here is uh, Fort Jaluk. Keep going. You'll be on the eldest wise countless land. I heard this was once part of the Empire, but that's long ago to be in the history books. Our destination is Erinside Village. It should be ahead, a forest uh, by the river. Hmm, can we stay for a sec? Oh, don't be stingy. Alright, do we have like a journal? We might. Is this a status? Hmm. So, do we need to go here or to the forest? Beyond this point lies Grim County and the League of Nations. The city of Eldeswide is there. Sorry, but I cannot let you pass. Oh, what's up? I heard to watch part of the search for the bars up north. Shouldn't you be on your mission? Meow. Mm -hmm. Oh, pipe down and uh, go away. I'm busy right now. Does look like one of those uh, things the kids were using that looks a lot like Beyblade. I'm assuming that's gonna be one of the mini games later on? When we have the time to play around at this, because right now we're on a mission, so you shouldn't play around uh, playing games at all. Alright, that means that the only thing we have for us to do is go to the northern forest. And I'm guessing the blue uh, arrow on the bar tells us where we need to be story-wise. Alright, uh, for now, let's leave the episode right here. That's giving me the opportunity to walk around a little bit, seeing as we can encounter more enemies. The encounter rate so far is pretty low. It can be a bit higher uh, for me. I don't mind that. But for now, leave it here. I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time. And of course, next time we're going to go into the forest. See where it leads us and see if we can find the room barrows. But until then, bye-bye.